Good evening and welcome to Channel 4 News at 5. Thanks for joining us tonight. The falling rain did nothing to cool off tempers that flared over animal control in one mid-state community. Protesters and counter-protesters in Coffee County got emotional over what some say is being done to abandon animals that are up for adoption. This is the second time now in six months that the animal control has made headlines after county officials pledged to make changes. Channel 4's Forrest Sanders has the story. It's new at 5 tonight. Forrest. That's right, Ellen. Now, last June, animal rescuers were upset to learn an animal control worker shot and killed a dog belonging to the county mayor's son and threw the body in a dumpster behind the shelter. Animal control officials told Channel 4 at the time they made a judgment call to help an animal they say was in pain. This time, animal rescuers went up against counter protesters over what they call problems and cooperation to get desperate, desperate animals the help they need. There's no warning. We don't know when the dogs are going to die. Saturday morning, dozens from the community and animal rescue groups gather in Manchester, protesting what they call unfit conditions and a high kill rate at Coffee County Animal Control. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the bones and stuff, but she was given an opportunity and they need to quit being on the defensive and they need to open their hearts up and let people come in and help. Janice Milner of No Kill Manchester says she just rescued four dogs from animal control last week, only to find five other dogs had been euthanized. He cannot tell me why he kills dogs anyway, even though we rescue them. And though there's runs available, I don't understand that. While Coffee County Animal Control Director Kevin Brown declined to appear on camera, he told Channel 4 by phone he did give several dogs to rescue agencies last week, and the dogs that were euthanized had not been claimed. He says animal control has actually reduced their kill rate from 40 euthanized in a month a few years ago to only 10 animals euthanized last month because he is working with rescue groups. Milner says there's not enough cooperation. They don't let volunteers come in and help and they're not and we'll call and they don't answer the phone. We'll go down and we sit for two or three hours. We've done that many times. Close by, counter protesters gather in support of Coffee County Animal Control. They and Brown both claim dogs in bad condition come to animal control that way. The rescue groups are selective about which dogs they save. But members of these rescue groups say they want to save them all and their efforts won't stop. We How many will be back if we don't get a response? How many will continue this fight? Now open Monday through Friday from 7 to 3. Protesters say this doesn't give people who work a time to come by animal control, and it needs to be open for one day in the weekend. Kevin Brown of Coffee County Animal Control says he does want to work with these rescue groups in order to save as many dogs as possible. Helen.